Hey, Alain, who do you got in your sights? Huh, nobody... I would have to move one square. You would, and lose that bonus. That's unfortunate. Mm, might be worth it. So let's it. see if anybody else has the bonus. That's a six, and she needs kills. So we're gonna take it. Oh, you want it for the level, right? Yeah. Yeah, fair. fair There's fair. a lot of... Yeah, see, that. that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, wow, just... Exactly what I'm wanting to happen keeps happening. All right, what are my oh five? It's fucking plus six, seven. Uh, plus. Yeah, it depends on how much he can exert. He can exert three. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can get seven. So off here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna impale him with a double impale, and you're dead. You're dead or useless. What if he stands still? <laughs> then he doesn't get to act. Like, if you're bleeding out, and you're like... Oh, did you ever see the jackal? Uh, no. Okay, because there's this part in the jackal where Bruce Willis shoots somebody. Uh-huh. And he's like, uh... You're bleeding black from that bolt, from that gunshot. Dead. Yeah. And that means it's already pierced your liver. Which means you're fucked. It means you're fucked. Now, here, you can sit here and hold this, and you'll have about an hour. Or you can try to move, and you'll have ten minutes. Take your pick. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's cold. Ah, oh, immune to damage! Actually, it wasn't even ten minutes, it was faster than that. It was like, it was like, seconds or something. And you're like, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll die, it for then. an hour. Oh, somebody fight! I, I guess I'll die then. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, look at all that. Look at that. Yeah. Does he have extra aggro? Uh, uh, I don't think he does. Well, you should give him some. Yeah, the ability to go invincible and have people hate you is good. Mm -hmm. There's an ability that makes people hate you by you sh by insulting them, but it doesn't. Then it takes away your aggro. I mean, it takes away your your defense. So, but having him have an item that gives him aggro would be fantastic. Can I hit her from here? I sure, sure can. can. Bye, bitch. For free. Now, to be fair, they're just attacking you because you're stealing their food. Yeah. So, you know... You mean my food? <laughs> hey, perfect fight! So, you know, they're kind of just trying to not die. Well, they did a bad job of that. Before long, the last of the stars is cleaned out as you're turning to leave. A valuable-looking necklace within the deep green stone catches your eye, and you decide to keep it. It's mine now. One if. Oh, what if? One if. <laughs> One if. One if. What is that? Red leads you to, <laughs> <laughs> and it's justified as out of the city before the men show up. Bodies of the dredge fill the fields in Frostfeller. You consider the best way, way to leave. leave. I got a treasure hunter thing. Time to look at my stuff! Damn. Because I got the Shaperskis. Greed has paid off. Greed always pays off. Always? Literally. literally. Always. Yeah, totally. Remember that story about uh, Scrooge McDuck? <sighs> yeah, I'm at Ebenezer Scrooge. I mean, my brain just yeah, yeah. Same. Okay, so, the, yeah. so, the thing that, so here, everyone takes the wrong lesson from Ebenezer Scrooge, right? Everyone's like, oh, he's so greedy, his life is miserable, right? But then ghosts come and mm -hmm. teach him the lesson, mm -hmm. and he gets to be a great magnanimous hero guy, but he's also rich. He gets to keep his riches. Yeah, he keeps the money. So steal and be greedy. Right up until you decide to not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you turn your life around, you get to keep those riches. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see? Higher stats. Let's do it. So one of the pieces of advice I'll let everybody know was that Alette and Rook are required for the final battle. So they're never going to leave the party now because they need to be strong as shit for that final battle. Uh, and uh, you get two of these, Alette. They're also the main characters. See, that's really bizarre because you don't start with them. Mm-hmm. Right? They're, they they feel like the secondary characters, despite the fact that they're on the title. They're, like that first part with the... With they're the, the relatable humans. Eh. If the game were a bunch of Varl, there would be no relatable humans. I don't know. I can relate to Varl. Yeah, I know. Like, we all can. 
<laughs> but that's the fucking that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, give me one of those and uh, oof, top that off, and there you go. That's a that's a big man. Look at that. That's a big man, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what, Eggle? Yeah. Even though you're a scratchy voice, do you want to bang my daughter? The fact that uh, you can make yourself invincible. Oh, oh yay! Thanks, Rook. Invincibility is a good power to have. Oh, Rook, thanks, man. Hey, lo, you look. Hey, I'm not gonna. You know, I'll be real nice with her. I swear. You better fucking. You know, I'm. I'm I won't even like. I won't even do anything. I, I'll just. You know. I'll, uh, yeah. Won't be creepy at all. Nope. No siree. No. No creepy. I'm gonna put armor busting on him because. If he gets down to one health, he be and his invincibility, he can still do decent damage. Not even a single creep. Not one creep. Nope. I see you creeping. Your 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 dick is out while you're talking to me. No, that's that's my. I got a shield. Big shield. Is that why you got it? I just forgot. I forgot to look at the item I actually got. But is that why you got it? So you could block my cock. That's correct. Green stone found. Uh, blah blah blah. That's a great too item. Strength resistant. That is aggro. a great item, but it's too strong. It's too strong. It is much too strong. Hey, you know, I I wouldn't mind having that. I like it. it it's yeah. too strong for you. Oh, okay. Well, you know, whatever you're. It ready. is too strong. Give Aggie the plus two aggro when the time comes. Yeah, of course. Go invincible. Run him out front. If the <laughs> if, right? yeah, if the time comes. Oh, he's one of those. I see. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty good with this. I got all the supplies. I don't need to buy some. Uh, what is that? Thirty days of supplies. He stole all the food. Fuck yeah! Leave these people to start. Time to leave them I'm all out behind. Outside the walls, things are fucked. Dragons are everywhere. But fortunately, they're going around the hill, heading south, and show little interest in following you as you cross the waste. Finally, free of Frostfeller. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Only had to kill people. But find yourself facing new problems. You hope that whoever Ivor knows at Wormtoe is willing to help. You know, you could always burn the supplies you stole just to make extra points. Oh, I, I, I felt... You know what? I wanted to. <laughs> you like, know you know I wanted to, right? Just to make extra points. But I was like, oh, but I might get a fight. And I want, I want to have fights so that I can... Wait, that my morale is down. No one gets a drop. Yeah, that's pretty weak. That'll affect your fights. Yeah, it will. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Joe. Guess which one? Hogan? Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy for a while. People are noticing. Do you know how to tell? Give me a scar. Yeah. Got it. And also, one has uh, a dollar red on their clothes. Yeah, but really just a scar. Yeah, the scar's the faster way. Uh, they've noticed, huh? We're on the edge of dying daily, and you want me to take it easy? Gods, I should be plowing twice as many fields, you understand? Don't, Don't get us thrown out of the curve, Morgan. It's not just you who suffers, brother. Yeah, so you get married, have kids, now I'm supposed to settle down too, yeah? What happened to... That's right. I've got a kid to take care of. Cool, cool your, your head, head Morgan. Brother. Hey, what's, there, what's up, brother? I've just came to check you guys out. You seem to be having a brother contest. Yeah, the mega powers are not getting along. Come running every time you hear you yelling. Must be why you look so tired. It's not a secret. I like women, Rook. They like me. They like the scar. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, forget it. What a it's a it's fucking fucked up. How am I supposed to get laid with all these corpses around? Yeah, basically. Just push those dead kids over. And then what? Just don't look in that direction, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Hey, we gotta replace them, right? Hey. Half the world is tilling soil till they keel over. What kind of life is that? Lucky. You can go your whole life with no goals, no purpose, on the fight against boredom and hunger. Oh, so he's... Okay, he's that guy. He's one of them. He's, he's, he's the guy who looks at the newspaper and it says WAR in all caps. He goes, YEAH! FUCKING <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm not sure I agree, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting to death almost every day, yeah? You can curl up in a little ball of field. Uh, fire, uh, you can hide in the woods, eat nuts, and appreciating leaves. I would. That sounds nice. <laughs> or you can enjoy the struggle. I know which one I've been pick. waiting for this. I'd, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Oh, oh. By the way, I would never go for a let or odd leaf. Oh, That's I, all. You can have them. 
Um, well, um, you could go over Oddleaf and we'd never know, because nothing's gonna happen there. Mm -hmm. Fucking... The only way to find out what something's going on is the Preggers, and that's no fucking worry with Oddleaf. She's over there in the corner. Oh, they're talking about my fertility again. Why is that so funny to me? It's so awful. It's so awful. Oh, uh, so you depart, uh, unsure whether or not your your Rogan changed. <laughs> so hey, uh, let's take a nap. He probably he's a, it's a good guy. He's like I'd never try, you know. Never, not even once. Is there better than good morale? Yeah, it's great morale. Oh, everybody's so happy. So it's days and supplies wasted, but uh, you know. Yeah, but the morale though. Yeah, but it, it, all it takes is one fuck up for them to drop back to weak. Better not fuck up then. Better not fuck up. Oh fuck. Yeah. Well tended farm with lots of livestock draws your attention. Upon your arrival, the farmer and his workers stand defensively within plain sight. Crude weapons at the ready. Their crossed arms make their thoughts clear without a word. What do you do? <sighs> They're just like, get out of my, get off my farm. Don't fuck my sheeps. These are my sheeps to fuck you. Yeah. Thank you. Eli taught me how to how to talk. Like that. Well, you know. Uh, okay, so they're not gonna want to leave. I'm going to assume. They're not gonna want to trade. And intimidating them will probably make morale go down or possibly even cause a fight. Well, you don't know what they want. Yeah. So I'm gonna offer them for them to come along. You warn the farmer of the dredge. But the man just spits and says, This land's my this life. This land, this land is my land. I lose that and I may as well be dead. Farm hands mm -hmm. only not mm -hmm. Spittoon. Mmm. Well. Mmm. Now, how do you live? How do you live? You're a dick for funsies, but are you a dick for real? For realsies. Your warriors step forward on sheathing weapons and practically growling. They blanch and step aside as you choose the hardiest beasts. Farmer has a sense to say nothing, though the expression on his face stays with you for quite a while, even after you are away. Catch a glance of a let who stares at her feet and does not make eye contact. Yeah, it was working. That's that's how we roll, huh? Yeah. Double decline, see well, that? Well, here, here's the deal, right? Here's the deal. I would feel bad but they're gonna die in like three or four days. So I might as well just rob them. Know that. Welcome to every zombie movie of all time. Yeah. Caravan's buzzing with worry. In the distance, somebody's following you. Dredge! Oh no, but they don't look like Dredge. God, oh, it's Echo! New spreads. Echo, why would- unless he's after you, oh no. Oh, Echo, he's insane. He's a good number of fighters. Echo. Let's dig in. Mm hmm. Get ready. Rook, my good friend. We've come to parley. Throws the weapon at the ground and he approaches alone. Well, that's fascinating. Why would I believe a word you say? Rook, we're good for pals, man. Hey! Remember that time I tried to fuck your daughter? Why you go my way? You literally just tried to kill us. Ah, Rook, it's your pretty girl. I'm glad nothing happened to her with the dredge, I mean. Oh, fuck off. My friends, how could I forget everything you've done for me? So, I want to point out a real, like, continuity error that matters in this scene. Sure. Where the very first thing of the parlay is that they throw their weapons down on the ground. Yeah, yeah. But there's no sprite that exists. Art is hard. You broke into my city, you took my warriors, took my food, killed some people so you could take more food. That was a nice touch, by the way. You took one of my best men. Yeah, I'm I feel pretty good. How are you, Oni? You treating you well? Shove it up your ass, Echol. Why are they standing next to each other? Because they're both, you know, anyway. Art is hard. If you came out here to kill me, let's get it over with. No, no, what, me? What? No, no, you, th you think you know me, don't you? Your people like me. What are you 
tell you one F over here? What did this guy tell you? He tell you I'm crazy? His eye is twitching. He tell you I'm crazy? His eye is clearly twitching. I am the sanest motherfucker here. Am I so sane that you just blew your mind? Okay. I survived because I'm crazy. I did what had to be done to make it in Frostfall. The only mistake I made was you. What kind of man are you, Rook? You look like an average guy to me. Man worried about his daughter, maybe. Just making his way. Then look behind you. How many people is that, huh? They follow you? They fight for you? Why? What kind of man are you? What are you, Rook? I'm doing my best. Yeah, we're all we're doing, all our, doing best. our best. Why are you their leader? Why do they look up to you? Because you saved him, and you're a hero. Maybe that's more important than who you really are. That's your fucking point. I'm your prisoner, Rook. Buy my- What? Frostfeller is done. I can't survive there, thanks to you, my good friend. You may not have cut my throat, but you sentenced us to death. You took all the fucking food. I don't believe that's who you are. <laughs> is this some kind of apology? <laughs> can't trust me, I know that. Take me and my men as prisoners, if that's what it takes. I'm not above begging. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's a lot of options. Mm hmm. There's a lot of options here. Some of them are more options than others. <sighs> Carrying <laughs> them as prisoners is a massive waste of time and energy. So then, what's the logic? <sighs> like, prisoners is obviously Either you safer, but it's a use of resources uh -huh. that I don't need. Uh huh. So. However, having them just add to the army, that's useful, but it could lead to a disastrous outcome. Stabbing him will probably lead to a fight and or lowered morale. Let's ask Onef first. Hey, 1F, what you thinking? I'd be a hypocrite if I told you to leave him. I don't know, Rook, you don't know me. I can trust my word any more than his, behind whatever decision you make. Make up your own goddamn mind. So there you go, all the non-decisions have been removed. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking right up at the ceiling right now. We're thinking real good. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, I noticed that Kill Echo on the spot has disappeared. It has. Uh, it would look really fucked up if I asked yeah. somebody's opinion. That just so it's, it's like you did a 50-50. You, uh, you spent one of your, you know, <sighs> and took the fake answers away. Fine, you can, you can join up. As prisoners. Ooh. Keep your people alive, but look at one man, woman, or child the wrong way, and every last one of you gets stabbed. Pay my debts. People right to follow you, you're a good guy. Each man is by hand bound tightly, check for weapons, making sure no mistakes are made, Thugs, things Shit's get getting complicated. Way complicated, because now you're walking around with a bunch of useless people. Just because of you trying to be a good guy. I can probably think of a couple of uses for that. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Oh, no. Let's feed these fuckers, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, we made it! Oh, look at that big old godstone. Look at that shit. Oh, that's nice. It's really cool. I wish these were real. I'm sure there's one somewhere underground. You find a surprising number of people carried out of the, out of the godstone. They've been here for a while, ever since the sun stopped. Oh, wow. Apparently, they think that Rad Ormir, the sun god, has come back and they're worshipping him despite the bleak environment. Welcome the caravan, mingling and swapping stories with the others while you rest. They have almost nothing of value, but their leader approaches you and offers yeah, to What is the, what is the tribute? Uh, Glenfiri. Golden liquid and silver. Uh, Sizzling explains cleanse through teeth as a gift from the sun god. Oil burns like the sun and lets you see things clearly. Um, we're good, but we're going to inspect the godstone before we leave. Nobody can really agree on what he looked like, as fond as he was of his own isolation. He never directly contacted humanity. I was thinking he was a serpent, lived in the sun, and that's not uncommon to hear of seeing the tail of a great creature slipping through the thin clouds on a rainy day. Remember, it was always one of the lucky gods. The kind that people thank for all the good weather, healthy livestock, good harvest. Despite all that, the biggest mystery has always been how the godstone came to be found at the bottom of a dried out lake. I have a few ideas. Sun god worshippers are keen to stay, so you pack up your things and return to the road. With all these prisoners here, I don't exactly feel like getting fucking super high. <laughs> That's... well, you know. I mean... Nothing wrong with... nothing wrong with a little elevation every now and then. 
Not if there's people around who want to stab me. Hey. It was still at normal. Okay. Several people have noticed black vultures circling above the caravan, taking advantage of the light snowfall. They pose no threat, but have a visible impact on the mood. Well, yeah. They're bumming shit out, man. Next time you look back, Odd Life is firing arrows in the air. She nearly tagged the birds once or twice. Get lost out here. There's no pet dead people around here. Let's shoot the vultures. Yeah. First person knock one out of the side gets their wish granted. Yeah. Oh yeah, everybody. Oh yeah. Everybody shoot these fuckers. Oh, huh? kill these birds. You know, a lot of women they could do this. I think I'm certain training how to fight. Yeah, train the women. Yeah. We always use more fighters. And if Alette is any proof, you she's know how unconscious to... right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. One of the birds fell and hit her. No. Hey, look, everybody happy because we murdered some birds. And you, you train, train, the, train the girls. Train the ladies how to murder. It's totally within their nature. They have the ability. There you go, Audie. Keep, keep busy. Something to keep you busy with, huh? See, you'll be able to pass something on. <laughs> some plans... <laughs> some, some plans men have a... I've discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you see so many people begun to sample, are you serious? You're eating it, but like, <laughs> too late, too like, late. Like, like I'm reading, it's like okay, I'm, uh, my brain goes okay. What do we do with the fruit? But like, and then I read the second lines, like people are already eating it by the time. I Your eat caravan it. of Ralph Wiggums has begun eating the fruit. What do you do? Ugh, mother frets about whether they're safe. After overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny, others start by the basket uh, gathering. Uh, Let's observe somebody who already ate some. Okay. All right. After a short time, you note the slurred speech of a young man partaking the fruit. Besides a little drunk, he seems perfectly fine. Oh. I will take a bite myself. Okay. Pause if you're swallowing and faint choking. Alette rushes to your side in a panic, but your laughter's... Ah, gotcha. Soon everyone's a little tipsy from the fermented fruit and spirits are high. Okay. It's just for me. Get fucking drunk on fruit. Like that video with the animals. Yeah, man. Animals love being drunk. That's not true. I don't know that. Don't give your dogs and cats alcohol, everyone. But you can they watch. They might die. But you can watch that video of every all these animals eating a fermented fruit. Yeah. And getting way fucking wasted on it. Woman's stifled screams failed to <gasps> overly concern anyone. It was only a matter of time before the expectant mother gave birth. The caravan is simply excited by this first new sign of life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna congratulate the people in private. Okay. With food. Okay. You suggest offering the family get more food over the next few weeks. Plans will quietly arrange supply wagon again with the flap of family sent to surprise them when they next come out. Babies are no big deal. Keep it hush hush. Yeah, I got renowned! Big hush hush. Why did morale decline? Well, it it could have been a bigger celebration. Could have been more fun. Down. Fittingly, the Var living here aren't known for welcoming visitors with open arms. Why morale go down? Maybe you should have told everyone about the baby. I don't know, man. It's not their business. Okay, well, you know. Varl, find you uh, not surprising with this many people behind you. With weapons drawn, they demand to know why you're here. But back down when Ivor tells them they're at sea to Crummer. Hey, Crumbs. Crumbum. Hey, hey Crumbums. Oh, this guy's so cool! Look at this motherfucker right here. This dude's from Metalocalypse! He's really solid. Oh, damned. Hey, crummy. He's like 200 years so old. So what brings Ingvar to Wormtoe with his own little village of humans? Bad news. The dredge fucking it all up. You know uh, the deal. That sucks. Let's get drunk. As you follow the old guy out of the meager town, you catch him si quietly saying, If it were anybody else... Mm. I've talked with the warriors here. I'll be honest with you. Half want to go north to find out what happened at Blotzbark. <laughs> Something we should go to Grofheim and said, No, don't do that. That's a bad idea to do. None of them are happy that you're here. Hmm. What do you think? If I had it my way, I'd just stay here and fuck up every rock monster to come over the hill. That's spoken like a true old fucker. Yeah. But you made this a problem, didn't you? Can't feed this many people, even if they don't really eat all that much. 
It's a Varl town. We take care of ourselves. You got women, you got kids. I mean, we can pay, we can help out, right? We can do a good job. Doesn't it doesn't work like that, dude? They're, they're the all, zombies are coming. Ah, we can bunker down they're, over they're here. They're all a bunch of hermits. We can bunker down. It's Crumbum's job. I'll call. It won't be long before the treasure here too. Nah, I won't. If there's one thing we should do is tell Jorinder what's going on. Who? Oh. He's the king. Well, we kind of got him. It was, uh... Hey, Ingvar, where'd you find these people? Stay and rest, but once yours are ready to go, we do. I'm going to see those off and want to head north. But I'll, uh, we'll join you to Grafheim. More travel? Aw, shucks. Stop pouting, little girl. Even if Jorinder wouldn't listen to a tired old guy like me, I feel they'll t pay attention to your friend Ingvar here. Why would they listen to Ivor? Oh, he hasn't told you? Oh, yeah, of course not. All right, do it, do do it, do whatever. Hey, man, what the, hey, what the... Ivor is Ingvar. What the hell, man? Yeah, can you spell our spare moment, crumb bums? No, but I'll try. Never had a moment to thank you for letting us stay at your weird, uh, shithole. Sir, it done. How did the who the... who's Ingvar? I he's he's full of secrets. You know, cast down being around people. Your friend was one of us long ago, the dredge bashing type. Back then he was Ingvar. And if you wanna know why he changed his name, fucking ask him yourself, asshole. I'm too old to peddle and gossip. But you're right here. I'm too old. How do you get all these cool dudes to follow you? Respect. Okay. R, R E S P E C K. After the Second Great War, it didn't leave me much to do, so I started training them fucks. Got tired of that, made a place in Wormtoe. Stims they come calling, no words to speak of. Huh. Might be changing, though. Any wisdom on fighting them dredgies? Depends on what you know. They're all armor. Tap them hard enough, though, and it'll shatter. There you go. Line up a whole row of slag, and they'll explode on each other all the way down. Get a big brawl, half your time is spent setting them up for it. That's, uh, that's a good one. And if you see one bang his axe like a tuning fork, try to kill him quick. That's good advice. Sometimes the slag he's calling won't even show up. It's good advice, Crumbum. Give me a cool story. Oh, it could be boring. Uh, How much do you like killing Dredge? Tell you the time we filled a dead yox with whale teeth? <laughs> and why? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm out of here. Okay, goodbye. How much do you like killing Dredge? I love it. It's my favorite activity currently. Alright, what do we got at the market? Ooh. We got a narwhal. That's just one break. And? And we got, uh, one armor a turn. That's a four. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I already have a good amount of items. I'm good with this. Okay, well, you know. And I want to save her now for promotions. Promotions are important. Promotions are very important. I knew it. I knew Crumbum would join the team. Look at this fucking guy. What are you, crazy? Forge ahead. He controls, uh, you pick a unit, and he moves forward in initiative. Oh. So the turn order gets changed because of him. That's... Oh, that's nuts. That's super solid, isn't it? Oh, what's his stats? Oh, and he's good. He's solid. He's all around solid. Oh, man. That dude's awesome. He's going in the team for sure. You better fucking be bad. Yeah, he is. Also, just look at him. Design-wise, yeah, he's, he's going in the team. Yeah, he's the coolest character in the whole game so far. He's, he's, no matter what he had, he's going in the We're team. taking one day of rest. Fuck out of here. He's not going in the team. No, I'm... No, give me another day of rest. I want I want good morale. There we go. Thank you. It's like you. that old tired asshole from the other team, except this one's got a hammer. Yeah. Alright, time to go. Old tired fuckers are the best. They will I never not old. be the best. Grafheim's a little ways away, but nothing's worse than crossing the waste, I imagine. If there's anywhere you might be safe from dredge, it's there. Ha ha. Steal yourself for another long march, and half the town of Worm Toad joins you. Yay, some barrels and some supplies. How wonderful! Wow, you're rocking. Yeah. I'm doing a great job. Oh, you're rocking less. Oh. Up ahead! Some it's giant hall, but it's fucked. Unsteady. Finally, sleep on. Look for clues as to why it was abandoned. That marvel left here may have had a good reason. Your tiring hours, search for clues, you have no answers. The frustration of wasted time is apparent. Ah, uh, let's take a sleep. Cheers! Yay! Uh-oh. Oh no, the fucking place sucked! 
The roof was awful. The rubble is too deep to recover their bodies. You killed everybody. Morale go down. Oh, I'm sorry. I should mention that I didn't actually lose any clansmen. I sub 466. We lost one day of supplies. Oh man. And some morale. Everyone. People sad. are nonplussed. 